Hi, we're Person in Person and welcome to your May Market Report. Let's talk about New Report. In New Report, there were 11 sold single family homes. Average list price was $9.49. Average sale price was $1,032,000. And the median was $9.25. Days to offer, seven. 20 active right now, only six under $1 million. Yeah, wow. yeah. So talk about the change in the market a little bit. As of May 1st, there was 30% more available inventory versus 2022. The days on market are unfortunately up 89% it's in New Report just for this month. Um, months of supply is up from 0.72 to one month in 2023. And year to date, 24 houses have sold in 2023 versus 23 three in 2022. So not really that different. Not that big of a difference. Now in condos. Yeah, in condos. 10 have sold in the last month. The average list price was 634. Average sale price was 657. Median sale price was 632,500. Days to offer nine and a half. There are nine active listings. Mm -hmm. And what about year, uh, over year. year over year? Year over year, 33% more available inventory than in 2022. That's something. Yeah. Six available on on May 1st and versus eight in 2023. Days on the market is down 15%, which I have a hard time believing. <laughs> Months of supply is up from less than a half a unit a month to 0.67. Uh, months of supply. That's how many months of supply we have at the current sales rate. Yes. Year to date? Yeah, 27 units have sold in 2023 versus 40 in 2022. Well, that's a big difference. That's yeah. A, yeah, that's a third again. All right, in Newbury, there were five properties that sold in the month of May. Average list price was 844. Mm -hmm. Average sale price was 861. Your median sale price was 800,000. Average days till offer was 17.4. That's a lot. Oh uh, yeah, it's a lot more. No, it is for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, there are 11 active listings as of today. And what about our year over year stats? Year over year, there's 36% less available inventory than 2022 in the town of Newbury. Mm -hmm. 11 available on May 1st, 2022 versus seven in 2023. Yeah. Days on market is up 38%. Month's supply is down 30%. So that's interesting. That yeah. tells me that things are sitting on the market longer, even though there's less homes. Yeah. And it has to do probably with aggressive pricing because people are so excited that things have sold for so much money. Yes. Year to date? Yeah, 14 units sold versus nine in 2023, which is up 55%. So let's talk, as we always do, about your sweet little town in West Newbury, where you live. I know. Over well, the river and through the woods. Yes. Um, so in the month of May, <laughs> there was an astounding one house, single family home that sold in West Newbury. Um, it was listed for $879. It sold for $1,003,000. I yes. thought you were talking about two different homes. No. I saw those numbers. Mm -mm, no. no. It took five days for it to go under contract. There are currently nine active listings in West Newbury, which is surprising. Wow. Uh, that's the most we've seen so far that's this year lot. in one specific time period. Um, so the year over year stats. Yeah, 50% more available inventory this year than in 2022. Yeah. Four available on May 1st versus six in 2023. Days on market up 250%. Ooh. Must be some new construction in there that's uh, no. that's doing something to those numbers. Yeah, months of supply is down 127 <laughs> percent. This is what happens when you're in a very small community. Yeah, small it's numbers. yeah. The, two, two two sales and you're 127 percent. Yeah, year to date, six houses have sold versus 2023, which was seven. So that's down seven, uh, down 14 percent. Amesbury. Amesbury. Single family homes. Eight sold. Yep. In the month. Average list price of six fifty seven eight fifty. Average sale price of six seventy nine. Median of six ninety seven five. Days to offer nineteen and nine active right now. 
60% less inventory available on May 1st of this year versus 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 available on May 1st last year versus four in 2023. Uh, days on market are down 65%. Wow. Uh, months of supply is down 57%. Year to date, 30 units have sold versus 28 in 2022, which is up 7%. So not like a huge difference. Yeah, I'm hearing something here though. I'm hearing that Amesbury is a very hot market. Well, we've been saying that for about a year now, haven't we? It's just in the sweet spot, particularly yeah. for young families, retirees. It really is. The median price point is just Yeah, and the community right has become so vibrant yeah. that it really is a big difference from just a few years ago. For sure. Yeah. What about condos? Condos, there were eight sold. Average list price was 500,000. Mm -hmm. Average sale price was 546. Those are probably um, new condos that got some upgrades. Yep. That's, you've seen a lot of those. Median sale price of 522,500. Days to offer, 8.75 days, so that's still pretty quick. Yeah. There are six active condos for sale in Amesbury, but we know of many more that are being developed, so there'll be more coming. <laughs> that's 55% less than the available inventory at the same time in 2022. Mm -hmm. Nine available on May 1st, 2022, versus four in 2023. Days on market is up 160%. <laughs> huh? Probably because of Bailey's Pond. That's right. Yeah, we have Bailey's Pond. We also have um, Main Street, 142. Is it 142 Main Street? Yeah, church. Those went under agreement and it took a while to close. Um, so days on market, as we said, up 160 percent. Months supply down 55 percent. Mm -hmm. So year to date, 40 units sold versus 37 in 2022. So up 7 percent. So yeah. I, there again, I think Amesbury is just a great hot little market. Yeah, and and what, in, you, what are the trends that you're noticing in the market right now? I, I, I know what I, I've <laughs> noticed quite a bit. Well, I've noticed longer days on market, Especially particularly in the report, the, right? the report and in the high end. Yeah. I think that people have uh, become very educated. Everyone knows everything now yep. and they know what the price should be. Yep. And, and they're not going to pay it if it's not that price. Right, right. So if you have a home that is listed under or around the median sale price is listed aggressively and well and it shows well and staged well and staged well it's going immediately right we've been, I, we're like broken records we've been saying this for a long time but if it is overpriced or even just the luxury market seems to be pretty quiet right now but the two things that are going to stop homes from selling quickly are not presented well overpriced and then like you said we're, we're noticing a slowdown um at the higher end right now especially in newburyport yeah i think that the higher end has shifted and now it the things that are one five are no longer considered the higher end which is yeah. kind of funny that's another takeaway yeah high end now is over two million crazy crazy, crazy but true so five years ago it would have been one million that's right yeah the luxury that was luxury one yeah. over a million yeah so thanks for joining us this yep. has been our may market report and if you like this video, subscribe and we'll be back next month with another one.